unpack the tomato. This time I'm using a used piece of paper. Why? Because I'm cheap. Here is a tomato and it's round. Here's the center of it. We see the top part and we see how the light hits this part and this part is in the shadow and also it's roundish so it's getting darker in here. And now we will recreate it on the paper. Center. The funny part. Even uh, if the set of colors is very limited, you will have this color, which is orangish kind of red, and you will have this color, kind of a crimson red. There's nothing in between, for example, in this set, there's no red red. The thing is... To when you mix two of those together, you get this red red. If your brush is clean enough, unlike mine. Oh, there we go. I, I may mark the places where I want color at all. And save it for later and here I am covering it with the color add some yellow to the parts when it's when it's more light don't be shy to use the colors that you don't really see there but you kind of but it feels right so just go for it here what do we see orange kind of color I'm adding blues to the dark part of tomato It's very unrealistic color, but I feel no guilt. Back to my reds. It's okay to add blue to the shadows. You cannot go wrong by adding blue to the shadows. That, because there is always some coldness in the shadow most of the time. And uh, coldness is very much easy to show coldness by adding blue and more orange here to the side to the sunny side of tomato and now I will wait 
wait a little when it's dry I will go one more layer over it and we'll work on the green part oh oh the shadow the shadow mixing brown mixing blue adding the shadow and being very messy and now break for drying the second layer and it will be of course much more vivid I'm mixing yellow and this orange red together. Whoops! Oh, what have I done? I'll come back to it and erase it. Also, when you're working on the second layer, try not to not to brush it because then you will scrap the layer which lies underneath. Just like touch it softly. See how we're bringing in the color. For the shadow, I'm mixing dark red with ultramarine blue. the edge around the light softer and here I kill it a little because it's there but it's not shining too much and here as well now I'm coming here I mix some emerald green with brown because just by itself it's a disgusting color that sticks out and there's nothing you can do with it so chill it with some brown and now I'll take some okra yellow okra and mix into whatever we had here already let me add this little touches to it. No. Good. Move a little bit of color from here. To create some drama, you know. Add some water here, some here, and a little bit in here, because the surface of the surface in here is reflecting in the shadow. Like if we keep put camera like this, we will see that this surface is reflecting here a little bit. That's why I'm, I'm adding this water in here. There we go. Our tomato. 